This is the endless cosmos. Countless stars and galaxies radiating their light into the void. With the vast majority of them never to be witnessed by any living being. Just the more reason to appreciate the light that we can see. What's a big deal? It's just a dark sky with some stars. Of all the things to photograph, what can possibly be interesting about just a dark sky? What's even so difficult? It's dark every night. You just point the camera up and... Easy, right? It's not like I have not tried before. But one way or another, I had no real luck of getting the right shot. I came close to Northern Norway, but there I had a whole different kind of light pollution. Ironically, the best result I got was right inside a town in southern Germany. So, what are the best conditions? Obviously, you want to be as far away from big city lights as possible. So, you have to look out for the dark spots on the map. And it should not be cloudy at night, because clouds suck up any light from the ground. And that's it, that's how you get a perfect shot of the stars. Well, actually, during a rainy summer, it was time to leave the clouds behind and head to the darkest place in southern Sweden. sky it seemed like perfect time to get to work yeah there's not gonna work it's not dark enough but not only was it too bright the nights were not really clear either with fog covering the entire lake during the night but it was the most tranquil night of silence I ever experienced While watching the sun rise, I was almost contemplating whether I had come to the right location. But I had an ace up my sleeve still, after all. Now I didn't expect it to be dark, but this is really bright still. That was expected, but I had other plans anyway. Of course, a full moon right in front of the core of the Milky Way was not helping either. So, if you don't succeed, you try the same thing again with another trip to Finland. But even with a cloudless night ahead, the project still had to wait. I wasn't really successful yesterday. It was uh, 
perfect conditions, a cloudless sky, no moon, but still way too bright. Obviously, in northern Lapland, this time of year, even with the best weather, it wasn't even worth to try and shoot a bright blue night sky. Which doesn't take away anything from the epic landscape, of course. One more shot, the very last night. Like a miracle, on the last night the skies were almost clear and seemingly dark enough. But the result was still underwhelming. You can make out the Milky Way there, but only after really intense editing. So start from scratch again, looking for those dark places. A little further south this time. I started off in Zurich, right before the rain and fog rolled in, and then challenged my luck in the valley of the light. So it's supposed to be cloudy and raining all day, but look at this view. So this is what it looks like this morning. It's nice and sunny, just a few clouds are just during the night, clouds are coming back. I had a heart attack right now. I pulled up the camera and it said no card in camera. It might have been a short and depressing night. Luckily on nights like this I always got spare cards. I almost made it. Somewhat light outside. I'll set up and uh, see what I can get. The full moon was not ideal, but soon everything was covered in clouds anyway. It wasn't really an ideal situation last night. The fog rolled in really quickly. So the time had come for a Hail Mary. Literally a last shot. After heading back, the time had come to go out, one last time. Time to really go into the dark forest now. So here's what I'm currently up at. This is the glacier I was up today and I actually had a plan to hike up to the glacier again at night. But the problem is uh, I'm right at the base of the glacier and it's actually blocking the view of the entire Milky Way. So this uh, right here is a better place. Of course the real core is 
chance behind that mountain peak. So I hope I still get good results. Okay, this is it. The moment we've been waiting for. So I have to interrupt the program for two short questions. After all, what really is the appeal of a photo of the Milky Way? Why go through all that effort? Why hike up the glacier, canoe across the lake, sit on a windy mountain all night long? I think the stars are one of the few things left of raw, unaltered natural beauty, staying almost the same for tens of thousands of years of human history in an ever-changing world. And something that today literally is hidden in plain sight. Of course, you could get it easier. There are places all over the United States that are darker than almost all of Europe. Just fly to any airport, get in a car, drive two hours out in the countryside, and you are surrounded by the most spectacular darkness. You probably don't even have to get out of your car. Obviously, this is not just about a photo. This is about the whole experience. There are easier ways with better results. But I would not want to have missed any of these memories. Hanging out with awesome people, not eating awesome. good food, that, being surrounded by nature. Was I successful though? Okay, this is it. The moment we've been waiting for. Let's see how it turns out. I guess it would be quite pointless if I had not succeeded. This is the endless cosmos. There is something about sitting for hours on a freezy, windy mountaintop that makes you appreciate a hot cup of tea. <laughs>